How's it going everyone? This is Cloud Chief and today I'm bringing you a video about building a computer. A friend of mine commissioned me that they wanted to build a gaming desktop computer so I told them I would go ahead and do it. Uh, the emphasis on this is really video power. They want it to run graphically intense games. For me, I've been in IT for over 11 years doing desktop repair, but because I basically repair computers and fix them, I don't stay up on specifications. I did look over it and gave them my recommendations on what to purchase for parts, but I couldn't really tell you off the top of my head what all these things are. I'm just going to end up putting it together. Uh, if you want to know exactly what we're putting together so you can duplicate this build, just check the information down in the description. Other than that, well, let's just get on to the build. Alright, so first step we're going to do is we're going to take the power supply, which we're going to give power to all the devices in the computer, and first you want to make sure the fan is set to the spot that's going to have venting, so it's just going to go in like so, and we will go ahead and screw it down. Alright, so we have our power supply securely installed, ready to go. So the next step now we are going to install the motherboard. So the motherboard is going to get installed right here on the system. Alright, so we now have our motherboard securely fastened in here. Now the next step is, is going to ins be installing our CPU into the CPU slot, which here is our CPU, and here is our heat sink for the CPU that will be going over it. And we got our CPU installed in there, so now the next step is putting our heat sink and fan on it, so it can keep that cool. Just to note, if you are doing an install yourself and you don't have much experience, typically you would have to put, um, I don't even remember what it's called, it's like, not thermite, but it's a thermal compound, so it conducts the heat to the fan. Luckily this is already has it on here, it's that gray stuff on the copper middle, so I don't have to put anything on it. And next we're just going to pop this on and install it. Alright, so we got our CPU installed, or yeah, our CPU and our CPU fan installed, plus the power supply on it. So the next part is in to install all the RAM uh, onto the board. Okay, so we now have our RAM installed, so the next thing we're going to install is the video card. The main point of the system was to have a have it graphically overpowered since it's we wanted to have the video game system, you know, make sure it has a strong video card. As you can see this thing is a beast and probably bigger than the motherboard itself, but this is the next thing we are going to go ahead and install. Alright, so we got this monster installed in here. So now the next step is just going to be hooking up all the wires and connections to it. And then after that, uh, the only thing I'll have left to do is install the uh, hard drive and CD-ROM. Alright, so right now what we're doing is we're running the wires through a lot of mo modern casings have so you can take the back paneling off like this and it has these paths so that way I can run the wires through so you're not having it all clustered in the front that way it's nice and clean and the wires all tucked behind and it has a little path for it to go on. so right now I'm just going to be hooking up all these different connections so everything has power and everything functions correctly Alright, so all that is left is to install the hard drive, which will end up going right here. And then the CD-ROM, which will go up right there. It just takes the SATA port connections and then the power supply connections, and then that's it. The system's done. I've already plugged this up and powered it on, confirmed everything's working right, so it's just installing the CD-ROM and the hard drive, and then it's on the OS, and our computer is ready to go. And here we are with the computer all finished, the CD-ROMs installed, the hard drives installed, and pretty much the only thing left now is to install an operating system on it. 
And here we go. The computer is finished. Right now I'm in the process of installing Windows on the new computer. That's pretty much just the steps to go through it. If you want to know in details, it would be best to look in your manual because if you buy a different motherboard or different parts, it's going to be different when you're putting it together. But that's pretty much the gist of how you put together a computer and each component that goes into it. If you wanted anything else installed, obviously you would have to put that in, like a wireless card or anything else you might want on the computer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanted to know what parts uh, we put in, just check it out in the description below. And may you have success in all you do.